Hola, y bienvenidos a esta presentación de los pronombres directos e indirectos con los mandatos. This presentation will talk about how to identify direct and indirect objects and how to use them with commands. Direct object pronouns can be found by finding the verb and asking who or what. They receive the direct action of the verb. Carlos doesn't read who or Carlos doesn't read what. The answer, this, the answer to this question, his book, is the direct object. If we don't want to say Carlos doesn't read his book and want to say Carlos doesn't read it, we need a direct object pronoun. The direct object pronouns are me, te, lo and la for third person singular, nos, and los and las for third person plural. Where do we put direct object pronouns with affirmative and negative commands? Well, they go in different spots with affirmative commands, Carlos, read it, the it refers to the book, it's attached to the end of the command. Léelo. Now this is, an af this is an affirmative, familiar command. You also attach them to the end of any other affirmative command. Usted, ustedes, or nosotros. If you notice, there is an accent mark on the third syllable from the end. When you add a pronoun to the end of a command that has two or more syllables, there's an accent mark on the third syllable from the end. Léelo is how it is co correctly pronounced. Using pronouns with negative commands are a little easier. Carlos, don't read it. Carlos, no lo leas. The pronoun is placed between the no and the command. Buy them. Them refers to las flores. Compralas. Accent on the third syllable from the end. Compralas. Do not do it. It refers to la tarea, a feminine singular object. No la hagas. Speak it. El español is masculine. All languages are masculine. Háblalo. Do not put them there. Las llaves is feminine and plural. No las pongas allí. Indirect objects can be found by asking who, I'm sorry, indirect objects can be found by asking to whom or for whom. Carlos reads his book to his mom. Carlos reads to whom or for whom. His mom is the indirect object because she is indirectly being affected by, by the verb. Carlos isn't reading her. Carlos is reading to her. If we want to say Carlos reads his book to her, we need an indirect object pronoun. The indirect object pronouns are me, te, le, nos, and les. You've used these with the verb gustar. So where do we place them with regards to commands? It's the same exact placement as with the direct object pronouns, with the affirmative we put it after the pronoun, actually attached, not after. Carlos, léele el libro. The le at the end of libro refers to to mamá or to her. As with the direct, we also need an accent mark on the third syllable from the end. The negative command, the pronoun is placed in the same spot. Carlos, no le leas el libro a tu mamá. Carlos, don't read the book to her. The pronoun le is between the no and the leas.
talk to them. Hablales. Don't look at me. No me mires. Tell her the truth. Dile la verdad. If you notice, dile does not have an axa mark because there is no third syllable from the end. Do not touch us, no nos toques. So the tricky part is when we have double object pronouns and we use them with commands. So when using the double object pronoun, that is to say when using a direct and an indirect object pronoun, the indirect object pronoun comes first. You can remember this by remembering your school ID. I indirect, D direct. ID is the order of the pronouns when you use them with commands. ¿Tú tienes mi mochila? Pues dámela. You have my backpack? Well, give it to me. Me is the indirect object pronoun, which is why it's before the la, the direct object pronoun. Again, notice the X mark on the third syllable from the end. Speak it to me. Hablamelo. The me is the indirect object pronoun. Lo is the direct object pronoun. It does change as far as the accent is concerned. Originally, it would have been on the third from the end, but now it's going to go on the fourth from the end when you add two pronouns. Do not turn it in. No nos la entregues. Give them to her. Daselas. So what happened here? It should have been da le las, but whenever you're using two pronouns that start with an L, the first one changes to se. And we do this so it doesn't sound as awkward. Daselas sounds better than dale las. Again, when two pronouns that start with an L, any combination of lo, la, los, las, and le and les, the first one becomes se. Do not wash them for him, no se los laves. This phenomenon of making the first one se also applies to the negatives. Practiquemos. Buy it. The it refers to the video game. Cómpralo. Don't buy it. No lo compres. Buy the video game for her. Cómprale el videojuego. For her is the indirect object, pronoun, the indirect object pronoun for her is le. Do not buy the video game for her. No le compres el videojuego. These next two practice the double object pronouns. And don't forget, if two of them start with L, the first one becomes se. Buy it for her. The it refers to the video game again. Compraselo. Do not buy it for her. No se lo compres. Gracias por ver esta presentación y te deseo mucho éxito.